when I tell you that two-thirds of judgments never get satisfied, not even a dollar gets paid, it's extraordinarily systemic. That troubling figure from a Toronto labour lawyer. I'm Adrian Gobriel. This week on City News, we've heard from multiple former employees of a popular Toronto lunch spot, the Green Republic Food Company. Former employees claim that they're still owed thousands of dollars in outstanding wages. Some have even filed complaints with the Ministry of Labour, though, as you just heard, one of the ongoing issues is even when the ministry passes judgment on your case, you're likely to never see a penny. They get strung along by the employer, then they finally go through all the way through the tortuous labyrinth and Byzantine system of the Ministry of Labour and still get an award and get nothing at all. Following our investigation into the allegations leveled at the Green Republic Food Company, we heard from a current employee who claimed, as of this morning, they too had outstanding wages. We also heard from other viewers with similar stories who've been waiting years to be paid from other different employers and businesses, even after the Ministry of Labour ruled in their favor. It's a waste and it sucks that there's victims like me, everyday people, you know, at the end of the day and I, there's no way I'm the only one and at $9,000 I doubt I'm the, the biggest one. Um, you know, and they're not doing anything. They're just sitting on their hands. Jackie Young Sterling was the director of sales and marketing for a coffee roasting company. She claims she still owed nearly $9,000 from her employer. Who later off, shut down shop only to reopen other similar business ventures. She's been waiting nearly three years for her money after filing her claim with the ministry. We took her story and others to Ontario's Minister of Labour today, who vowed action is coming. As a result of this today, we're hiring a, another 175 um, inspectors in the province of Ontario. We've started the hiring process already. We fully agree we need more people out there, and that's our intent is to do that. 170 more bureaucrats are still going to fumble through and make the same mistakes as the old one. How about better training for the ones that they have? How about a more aggressive procedure? How about a more quick attempt to obtain the money from the officers and directors rather than just hiring more people to make a to spend lots more tax dollars and say we're doing something while doing really nothing at all. Jackie Young Sterling echoed labor lawyer Howard Levitt's feelings about the minister's comments today. She believes there simply isn't enough incentive for employers and business owners to pay outstanding owed wages. They recouped a um, amount last year but they never even bothered telling me because it wasn't even worth writing a check. It was less than a dollar that they had seized from his account. Like, what was even the point? Again, like the resources that would have gone into recouping that money. Like, why? A dollar. Less than a dollar. Though Labour Minister Kevin Flynn promises that the new officers being hired will be taking a much more rigid approach to enforcement.